Hello everyone, thank you for watching DIY Geek channel. In this video, I just want to share a tip that I use to save a few dollars every year buying paint brushes. I use a lot of paint brushes for all kinds of home improvement projects all throughout the year and usually when I don't have any on hand, I go to Home Depot and buy some paint brushes there and I always look at the prices and it goes wow especially for if I'm not painting like a fine finish or very smooth finish I don't need a very good uh, paintbrush I look at the prices and uh, I will show it to you on the next clip of how expensive they are and, and what kind of paintbrush that I'm buying is really not worthwhile here's a regular brush from Home Depot as you can see, it's a two inch wide regular brush. This is actually a little bit lower quality than the one that I get from Amazon, but it's about the same. At $3.27, if you multiply this by four or you know three or four brush, but you get I get five out of the Amazon uh, package for six dollars and twenty-five cents. You can tell that it would have been fifteen dollars or so. $12 or something like that, at least double the price for a lower quality brush. Here is the brush that I get from Amazon. As you can see, it's $6.25. The, the brushes are, uh, the bristles are very soft, uh, very good quality, better quality than the Home Depot. Um, <clears throat> uh, given that um, they're not all two inches, but you get at least uh, three brushes that is two inches. One of them, I think, is one inch and one is one and a half. But all of them combined, if you're using the Home Depot price, it's probably going to be um, 10 to $15. Uh, much, much more expensive for a lower quality brush. Uh, so I looked around and found uh, this particular paintbrush from Amazon. And this paintbrush is uh, the, the bristle is very fine. It's, uh, it's good quality. It's easier. It's easier to control uh, when when you're cutting the sides. So it's, uh, it's it doesn't shed. Uh, the the brand is called Gines, um, J I N E S. And this five paintbrush, I remember it was like six dollar and fifty cents or six 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 fifty three. I'll put the uh, um, the clip up to the Amazon page next and uh, in comparison to uh, uh, if you would have bought this one right here in particular at uh, Home Depot you would have probably paid three dollars just for one or two fifty uh, for this kind of quality at least probably about three fifty three dollars and fifty cents just for one brush and um, yeah for this big one you're probably gonna pay four dollars at Home Depot so Home Depot really um, take good profit out of selling paint brushes and um, yeah I just want to give this tip uh, if you use 10 of these per year that itself already saved you probably about $40 anyhow um, just want to share that tip and uh, hopefully you find this video useful uh, if you do please give it a thumbs up and share it with somebody else that does a lot of DIY project also and don't forget subscribe to my channel for more tips in the future Bye. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel to see more do-it-yourself videos like these and support my channel. Thank you.